everyone, so today's video is about these makeup brushes that I got. I know some of them are pretty dirty right now, and but I just want to have a simple <coughs> talk through or whatever, not talk through, a simple talks about these brushes that I got. This is actually from different brands. Some of these are from Real Techniques and some of these are from Munar. I'm not pretty sure what kind of line, but it's Munar, I think. I got this from Lazada and then some of one of these are is from the Etude uh, House brush which I actually wanted to talk about too and yeah so this is the recent um, brushes that I got or I bought some of them were just given but most of them I just bought it and these are the brushes that it changes my makeup or it changes how I apply my makeup on but before that let me just introduce something or someone really cutie besides me right now who is like Ugh. but yeah let me just I want you to meet this little puppy right there say hi baby hi everyone yeah so this is a Chih Tzu pup puppy he she's I mean he's actually two months old turning three this I mean this September this upcoming September 13 which is actually pretty awesome because this is a male we do have a Chih Tzu exterior but she's not like comfortably going or hanging around the camera just unlike this pretty little boy right here so yeah so this is the pretty the cutest one that I got this is the newest member of our family and yes yeah, staying with us in our room because today today is her is his first day with us and his first night so my mom decided to have him sleep in our bedroom and yes yeah, so this is the cutest she's like playing right now <laughs> yeah so i'm gonna put oh see he's so like a little baby okay go back okay. he's like chilling in the room right now he is like chilling over there yeah enough talking the start of my life so let's start with the main show so apparently I have been changing my brushes on uh, on applying foundations which is pretty like awesome right now because before I use my Etude House this is actually the first baby of mine which is again a one look a first love of mine in fo in foundation brush this is actually 003 foundation this is for applying a foundation this is actually a flat angled kabuki a flat top angled brush this is actually pretty awesome when you apply your foundation but it doesn't leave my skin a very smooth or a natural smooth uh, kind of look of foundation which is actually the the one that I've been looking for I will rate this brush I think in 75% because so far I spent like 800 pesos I mean 800 or 5 I'm not really sure I will look or I'm not pretty sure but it's too pretty expensive than the brushes that I have to buy this is actually a expensive one and an expensive kind of brush for this small and it's actually it's I don't know it doesn't give me the texture or doesn't give me the smoothness that I really wanted or the finished look that I've been wanting to have on my foundation so moving on about this brush the newest member of the family is the Munar brushes this is actually I got 10 of this and I get I mean I got five of the face brushes and five of the eyes and some of the smaller one I used it for my face but this is actually for my face brushes this is ten five of them I mean how many of them oh it's oh sorry it's yeah it's five of them but the the first but two of them is still haven't been used because as you can see this is the Muna brushes that I got from Lazada.com and it's pretty nice because it doesn't give me the heavy kind of brush that we usually got for the cheaper price brushes this is pretty cheap and I got I, again I got 10 of this in like 800 or 900 I'm not pretty sure but it's pretty pretty awesome and the finish this is pretty good and it, 
I love this. I never tried this flat angle brush for foundation and this flat top brush I've never tried this one yet but I'm pretty sure it will give me the same um, the same smoothness or the same um, texture that I got from the first one that I've used but yeah so the first one that I've used is this kind of brush this is actually round top round top kind of brush this is a this brush is I use for applying my foundation foundation which is actually pretty good because again this brush is a, I'm sorry this is a synthetic brush and it's pretty nice when applying it and I got the very smooth or the natural makeup look for the for my face I actually haven't worn a powder right now I just wear my foundation and just put on some blush and then I'm good to go so without putting some some face powder or some translucent powder I just this brush and it feels so good just a little amount of foundation and it's really good it's really smooth and I didn't have the cake face that I usually get get from this brush from this um, foundation brush of the Tweed House I usually get I usually get a cake face after like two or three hours of makeup but this one even though I have a makeup on for like um, hours and hours but I still have the smoothness I'm really sorry if I keep on looking that part of the room because my dog right now is like playing in the bed and then I maybe he's like grabbing or taking off something hey puppy hey duke 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 come here uh, she's just wanna sleep. Yeah, so this is the brush that I've been talking about. This is the most favorite of the brushes currently right now for foundation. I do have a beauty blender, but I'm not sure about the beauty blender on applying my foundation. I just use my beauty, beauty blender on applying my concealer, that's all. But for the rest of the face, this is the one that I've been loving. And currently, this is the most favorite part of all the brushes that I got. And the next two one that I've used is for my face brush as well. Duck, come here! These two brushes are here for my faces as well. This is from Winner Cosmetics too. And I use this one as for applying my or applying my translucent powder, especially on the other eyes or setting my phone, my concealer under my circles or all over the circles on the chin and forehead. This is the one I've been using because it's really easy for me to blend or to like press this one under my eyes especially when setting my concealer it's really smooth and it gives you smoothness I don't know what's with this brush it's pretty cheap but it's pretty awesome and about this one this is the last one that I've been using this is the one I've been using for contouring and it gives your skin a very good contour it doesn't leave your skin like a harsh contour but a very natural look contour for your face and it's a synthetic brush which is actually again pretty awesome and it's pretty cheap cheaper than the ones I had before and yeah so these are the five brushes from Munar and the other five that I got is this brushes this is actually um, nice and absolutely beautiful because this is a pack of 10 and I just paid on 900 pesos I think yeah I'm just 900 pesos not more than a thousand but yeah it's pretty cheap it's for I have been using this for my eyes recently I am been using this for blending or applying the base and everything just blending it out and this angled one is I've been using for my crease especially when I do some like three or three to four tone colors yeah I have been blending this all over my crease and it's pretty good it's pretty awesome and this bigger one this fluffy one is like spreading or blending out the rest of this eyeshadow so it not so it will work nicely and it will good um natural not the harsh one and this one is for my crease as well i do have to put in this one so this is actually a very large a kind of pencil brush yeah but it's pretty awesome and i have to like it's easy for me to blend under my eyes as well so it's very smooth it's synthetic brush too and it's pretty cheap 
and the last one in the set of 10 this is the one I've been using especially by the times when I when I like wanted to sit down and put on makeup and have some more time instead of using my beauty blender I use this one to set my concealer and yeah so this is the one I mean not setting my concealer but applying my concealer this is the one I've been using especially if my concealer is a pretty like sheer concealer so this is the one I've been using and again this is a synthetic brush and it's so smooth this is available in a pack of 10 from Minar Cosmetics and so cheap so the last one that I will show you are the newest collection of the brushes from Real Techniques. I got this, um, what kind of, what? it's NYX Picks. So this is the collection of NYX Picks from Real Techniques. So I got five of them. So this is the remaining brushes. So I got this one, um, the Dual Fiber Face Brush. This is actually, I use this one for applying or setting my face a powder I mean setting my whole face with a powder this is the one I've been used and I got the finish the perfect look or the perfect or the perfect finish look that I've been wanting for and after I mean after applying my face with this Munar with this Munar Cosmetics brush I apply this one with my foundation brush and after that I will just have to apply this with my powder brush I mean this dual fiber face face brush and I'll apply this all over my face with my powder and I'm good to go and it's really good and it's pretty awesome and it's pretty smooth looking skin so I really love it but Real Techniques is so much pricier than the Menor Cosmetics brush and the last the other one for my face is the cheek brush but I never use this for my blush I use this for like um, bronzing or contouring but most of the time I'm using this for bronzing my face and yeah so I love this for bronzing because it's really tight up here and it's like so fluffy hey baby don't do that okay so I have to remove these brushes all over here and transfer here on the other side of the powder because you know the little boy is right now in besides me so I'm um, talking about this one is like it's pretty like smooth up here and so easy to blend and it's like easy to blend the bronzing part of your of your routine but yeah so it's pretty good but pretty price a little bit pricey and the three other one are for the eyes so I got the eyeliner brush which is actually I don't use this for um, putting or having my eyeliner on but I instead I use this for my eyebrows I don't know why but this is the one I've been using and it's pretty good and the other one is the base shadow brush I use this for putting um, adding putting on my base eyeshadow and it's technically good because it's fluffier outside and it's pretty good and you can it's I can use this for blending part as well but yeah it's like multitasking and the last one is the angled shadow brush and yeah so I use this for my crease this is actually angled one but I use this for my crease which is this part of the eyes because I do have a hooded eye so I use it one for my crease up here and it's pretty good and somehow I use this for blending as well so yeah it's a multitasking kind of run of brushes but yeah so this is everything or these are all the new newest part of the family that I got for my brushes and yeah I hope you guys had some techniques or had some ideas on what kind of brushes that you will purchase but when you're here in the Philippines I think you must purchase the Muna brush instead of the Real Techniques but it depends on you as well if you have an extra like this you can get Real Techniques but if you are in a budget type you can get the Muna brushes and it's pretty awesome it's pretty cheap and yeah so yeah so this is everything and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and thumbs up if you love this video and if this helps you as well please don't come please don't hesitate to comment on the comment section below if you have any questions suggestions or whatever you want to ask but yeah please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you next in my video bye